Hi Nana, how are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Nana, I was uh, nice to see you. Yeah, same here, same here. Uh, Nana, I was going through your uh, profile and your achievements and I saw that they are simply unbelievable. You have won the world under uh, 10 or 12 title. Then you um Actually, I won um, age groups uh, uh, world championship four times. Four times. Under uh, 12, uh, 16, 18, and 20. And you won 20, 20 by two points. Like by a margin of two points almost. And you were, you were also... I don't <laughs> and then you won, you won like FIDE Grand Prix. You won world blitz title. You also won like... European uh, individual so almost like all the top events uh, and it's a simply an honor to have Olympic, uh, Olympic yes. goals with the Georgian team in 2008. 2008 yes yes, yes. it's a uh, tremendous to have you in this tournament uh, what are your thoughts about the chess super league that is happening uh, and and why did you decide to play it um to be honest with you, uh, I've been waiting uh, for invitation from India so long because uh, based on uh, your chess tradition, uh, I was expecting uh, some uh, invitations from uh, prestigious tournaments like uh, Grand Prix maybe or some other tournament. And finally, um, some days ago, I got one, <laughs> and uh, I was uh, very happy and excited. <laughs> yes. And we are also very excited to have you because, you know, Georgia has a very rich tradition of strong women chess players, and right now you are the number one player from there. Uh, your team is also very interesting. You are playing for the King Slayers. Uh, you have yeah. Anish Giri, Setu Raman, yourself, Soumya Swaminathan, uh, Gukesh, and Arpita Mukherjee. Are you happy with your team? Yes, I'm very happy with my team. Uh, almost, uh, almost every player I know very well, except the the young girl. Uh, so, uh, but overall, I think the teams are um, very strong. All teams. So we have, I think, the same chances to win the competition so uh, but uh, with my team yes uh, I'm really very happy and uh, I think a little bit uh, more luck to our side and uh, we can we can win the tournament yeah yeah for sure and also like uh, of course Anish and everyone else is very strong but Gukesh is like the top seed uh, in boys like he's almost 26 40 and he's just 15 years old uh, so that's a very nice player to have in your team. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what what are your thoughts about the swapping rule? Like, you know, you can swap on board three and four, so you can play against all the international women players, but you could also play against many Indian women players as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I like this system, actually. I think this is also... So must be good for Indian women players. Yes. To play against uh, strong uh, international grandmaster, women grandmasters. I think for them it must be a uh, good experience. So yeah, I like this system actually. Uh, I think uh, in China, in China, in Chinese league, uh, they had the, the same same system, um, almost same because. Uh, as uh, let's say foreign uh, players, we could only could play against Chinese women players. Mm -hmm. We could not play against the, the international uh, players. So uh, for their development, for their uh, chess, women chess, I think this is uh, this is good. wonderful. And your team owner is uh, Tanmay Bhatt. Uh, have you heard yes, about him? Yes, I checked. <laughs> I checked his uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> He's very, very sweet, I think, and uh, very nice guy, very nice person. So uh, I think we have all excitement ahead. Wonderful. That's uh, very good to know. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, kind of chess boom in India in the last one year. I mean, more like online boom. 
of course the chess boom of young talents has been going on since quite some time but uh, because of samai who has been streaming a lot have you ever got the chance to follow any of the streams or something that that were going on um actually um during this pandemic i was following the your streams oh. on the youtube channel yes <laughs> quite often actually and uh, uh, especially your stream uh, together with anish and uh, temura jabo i think yeah. yes it was very interesting and uh, whenever i had the time i always watched thank you that's very kind of you and very nice to know uh nana we want to give one position to our viewers uh right now to solve from your game and this is yes a very memorable game for you because not only did you beat the world champion in this game but also you finished joint first at this uh tournament is it isn't that true yes uh, uh after i won this game after that uh I believed myself that I could win this uh, this tournament. This very important tournament, which uh, happened in Switzerland in Lausanne, Women's Grand Prix. Yeah. So the task for all the viewers is right now to pause the video and think about what is the move that Nana made in this position. Try to understand what's going on, and then when you have thought about it, resume the video, and we'll tell you what the move was. Okay. So Nana, what did you? play here yeah i think this is a very interesting position it's clear that uh, the black has an advantage here um but uh, first sight uh, you think that there must be some mate ideas or uh, some mate threats to king but um, um for some reason there is uh, there is nothing uh, directly to the king. So I decided first to defend my king and also to uh, attack pawn on d4. So um, this knight manners, maner to f5. Wow. This is uh, very memorable, I think. Yeah, for me it's, yeah. It's, it's memorable. memorable for you because at first sight you wanted to somehow mate the white king but you couldn't find it and then you came over your uh, kind of ambition to checkmate and you found this positional idea which is not very common right yes actually i was thinking some half an hour here in this position i remember wow. it wasn't easy to find this idea uh, to transfer knight to f5 yeah, because uh, a check here and uh, uh, and there is nothing much happening. In fact, your king is coming under pressure. So that's the reason why knight d6, knight f4 and knight f5. And then you went on to yes, win. Yes, and knight, yeah? knight defends uh, king perfectly and also attack pawn on d4. Yeah. Attack pawn. Very nice. Uh, so and then you went on to beat her and uh, that was a great game would you would you call your i mean as a world class player you have to have all kinds of playing style you know you can attack and defend but predominantly you what sort of a playing style would you say you you are your plays i think um I love more positional play. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll we'll look forward to some great positional chess from you, Nana. And thank you so much for your time right now. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much.